Clip Studio Paint just added two huge new features for the 10th anniversary update, as well as a couple of smaller improvements. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Madam Berry, and I use Clip Studio Paint to make my artwork for apparel, stickers, accessories, and other merchandise. Let's jump into Clip Studio. Previously available on Samsung devices only, Companion Mode is now available on any device. This turns your smartphone into a remote control for your main device. To use it, install the Clip Studio Paint app on your phone and open it. You can use Companion Mode for as long as you want, even using the free time-limited version of Clip Studio Paint. However, if you switch to Companion Mode while a canvas is displayed, time spent in Companion Mode will count as part of your free usage time. To start Companion Mode, click the Connect to Smartphone button in Clip Studio Paint on both devices. On your PC, a QR code will appear. Scan that QR code with the Clip Studio Paint app on your smartphone to connect to Companion Mode. You also want to make sure that both devices are on the same Wi-Fi network. Now that you have Companion Mode open, you'll see a bunch of shortcuts that affect your desktop version of Clip Studio Paint. One of the great things about this mode is that it pairs with the quick access menu in Clip Studio Paint. So you can set all of this up with your favorite macros and tools. If you'd like to learn how to set that up, watch my previous video linked here. So now I have quick access to all of my favorite drawing tools and effects without having to have this open on my desktop and take up a bunch of space. You can also use this mode to pan, zoom, rotate, and flip your canvas. There's also a color wheel, so you can change colors very quickly on the fly. And if you're making a webtoon, you will have a preview mode of the mobile version of your webtoon available to look at on the companion mode. An interesting thing that you can do with the subview mode in the companion mode app is you can actually load photographs from your phone and it will generate a color palette based on the photograph that you uploaded. So if you see something you like in real life, you can take a picture of it and then upload it and color pick directly from that photograph. On to our second new feature. If you've ever wished you could use Clip Studio a bit more like traditional paints, now you can. With this new color mixing window, you can mix paints like you would on a traditional palette. I was curious to see if the colors mixed on this palette would blend differently than on the canvas, and to my delight, they do. They appear more vibrant than they would if you were mixing the color on the canvas, since they're not influenced by any underlying background color. You can also use the color mixing palette in companion mode for even more versatility. Two other quick additions to this update is that you can now export text layers to Photoshop PSD, and for 3D objects, they have improved the Lighting and Shadows engine. So if you're using your 3D objects to help determine light sources and cast shadows, they are now much more accurate. Now, my question is, as somebody who uses Clip Studio Paint on my PC, and I have ready access to my keyboard for keyboard shortcuts, is companion mode worth it? Well, for one, it is free, so you can't argue with free. But personally, I found myself gravitating to my muscle memory of using my keyboard to do the keyboard shortcuts rather than using my offhand with my phone to manipulate the canvas. I have what I consider maybe a slight advantage in that I am left-handed, so I can draw with my left hand and have my right hand on my mouse so that I can use my mouse to zoom and pan. People who are right-handed might not have that advantage and it might be annoying switching between using the pen stylus and their mouse in their right hand, so they might want to use their left hand in companion mode. I also do not have any hot buttons on my tablet monitor. Um, I'm using a Huion canvas and it doesn't have any of those like quick buttons that some tablets have on them, so for somebody who has buttons on their tablet that will perform quick functions for them, they might find companion mode less useful. Personally, I think it's really really cool and I'll try to keep using it but I don't know if I'm going to break myself out of the muscle memory. Companion mode may also be useful if you're on a tablet or laptop device where a full keyboard would be clunky and get in the way. I tested this mode using my Surface Pro over on a lounge chair. I don't normally draw this way because I find it incredibly inconvenient not to have my shortcuts handy and my Surface keyboard gets in the way. But when working with companion mode, this was actually incredibly pleasant, and I might find myself drawing with this setup more often. 
So, happy 10th anniversary Clip Studio Paint! If you are new to Clip Studio Paint and you would like to learn how to use it, I have a beginner's guide that I will link right here. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take care.